தொலைக்காட்சி அன்பர்களே உங்கள் அனைவருக்கும் எமது உள்ளங்கணிந்த வணக்கம் தமிழர் பண்பாட்டில் சமையல் கலை ஒரு முக்கியமான கூறு ஆகும் இதனையொட்டி எம்பிசி சார்பாக உங்களுக்காக ஒரு புது நிகழ்ச்சி வழங்கப் போகிறோம் இந்த புது நிகழ்ச்சி பெயர் மட்ராஸ் சமையல் மட்ராஸ் சமையல் என்ற பெயரை கேட்கும் பொழுது நாக்கில் நீர் ஊறும் அல்லவா அதனால்தான் மாதந்தோறும் ஒரு முறை உங்களுக்காக இந்த நிகழ்ச்சி மட்ராஸ் சமையல் ஒளிபரப்பாகும் தமிழ்நாட்டு சமையல் மற்றும் மொரீசியசு தமிழ் சமையல் கலந்த ஒரு நிகழ்ச்சி இது அன்பர்களே உங்களுக்காக இந்த நிகழ்ச்சி பயனுள்ளதாக இருக்கும் என்று நம்புகிறோம் இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியில் சமையல் குறிப்புகள் உடல் நல குறிப்புகள் ஆலோசனைகள் அறிவுரைகள் வழங்கப்படும் இன்றைய தலைமுறையினர் பெரும்பாலோருக்கு விரை உணவு மிகவும் பிடிக்கும் அதாவது பர்கர் பிட்சா நூடுல்ஸ் இவையெல்லாம் சாப்பிடுவார்கள் போக போக அவர்கள் தமிழ் சமையலை மறந்து விடுகின்றனர் ஆனால் கவலைப்படாதீர்கள் எம்பிசி வழங்கப்படும் மட்ராஸ் சமையல் என்ற நிகழ்ச்சியின் மூலமாக உங்களுக்கு ஓர் அரிய வாய்ப்பு கிடைக்கும் நமது மூத்தோரின் பாரம்பரிய உணவு வகைகளை அறிந்து கொள்ளுமாறு இது ஒரு வாய்ப்பு இந்த வாய்ப்பு நீங்கள் அனைவரையும் நன்றாக பயன்படுத்துவீர்கள் என்ற நம்பிக்கை உண்டு இது மட்டுமல்லாமல் வேறு இன மக்கள் தமிழர் உணவு வகைகளை விரும்பி சாப்பிடுவார் என்பது உண்மை இந்த நிகழ்ச்சி அவர்களுக்கும் பொருத்தமானது இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியில் நான் மட்டும் அறிவிப்பாளர் அப்படியானால் யார் சமைக்கப் போவார் உம் அவர் ஒரு சமையற்காரர் அல்ல ஆனால் சமையல் கலையில் மிகுந்த ஆர்வம் கொண்டவர் அவர் தமிழ் பண்பாட்டிலும் தமிழ் சமயத்திலும் மரபிலும் மிகுந்த பற்று கொண்டு ஈடுபடுவார் அவர் யார் என்று தெரிஞ்சுக்கலாமா சரி வாங்க அவரை பற்றி மேலும் அறிந்து கொள்வோம் மட்ராஸ் சமையல் என்ற நிகழ்ச்சியில் சமையல் செய்பவர் யார் என்று தெரிந்து கொள்ளுமாறு நீங்கள் ஆவலாக இருக்கிறீர்கள் எனக்கு தெரியும் அவர் யார் என்று பார்க்கலாமா சரி வாங்க அவரை சந்திப்போம் வணக்கம் கலைவாணி எப்படி இருக்கிறீங்க வணக்கம் தேவராஜ் நல்லா இருக்க நீங்க எப்படி இருக்கிறீங்க நல்லா இருக்க கம் வாங்க வாங்க Welcome to Devas Kitchen Kalaiwani. It's with great pleasure that uh, I welcome you here. Today we're going to talk about something which I'm really passionate about, traditional South Indian cuisine. And it's going to be a voyage actually because we're going to travel back to South India to Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu. and discover all the flavors that have uh, created that wonderful cuisine and which we have inherited through our ancestors, our forefathers who have come from India. So we're going to uh, go through two traditional recipes of course for you Kalevani and for the wonderful audience watching us. First the puli udare, so rice cooked with a tamarind paste and then we're going to present a sweet uh, dish called the chakkarai pongal, rice cooked with vellam, jaggery. Amadu ya pidittamana. Very sweet. Inipu. Exactly. And it's also a very uh, traditional part of Mauritian cuisine. We know we know it as the patti or the pongal we bring to the temple etc. Mm -hmm. This one is going to be a bit of the traditional version as we have it in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. For our first recipe Kalevani, the puliyodari, we're mm -hmm. going to need the following ingredients. So here we have um, main ingredient of the puliyodari because the flavor is what gives the authenticity to this dish. It's mm -hmm. called sesame oil or in Tamil nallennai. Mm -hmm. So we have Ulundi, which is uh, uradal, also known as black rum. We have peppercorns. Milagu. Milagu. We have vendayam, which are methi seeds. Mm -hmm. We have kadalai parup, uh, Bengal gram. Yeah. Uh, we have kadugu, uh, mustard. mustard seeds. Milagai. Dried red chilies, cumin seeds. Siragam. Siragam. And then we'll need a very important ingredient here. It's called mm -hmm. the nallenne or sesame oil. Sure. which could be rare in Mauritius but it is available so it's better to use the authentic flavors from the sesame oil. Sure. We have the Perengayam, perengayam Asofedita. We have black sesame seeds uh, known as Yelli in yelli. Tamil. Of course the main ingredient, the major ingredient of the puli udare is puli, Pulish. the tamarind. Mm -hmm. And then we have peanuts. Ver, ver, kadale. ver kadale. We have turmeric uh, powder. The 
famous karve pille, curry leaves. And then here we have rice. It's important to note though that the rice should be cooked to a grainy consistency. It shouldn't be mushy. It should be devoid of moisture mm -hmm. and it should be left to cool uh, like this in a plate. And okay. ideally we could put a little bit of cooking oil just to prevent it from sticking together. And here we have some water and uh, salt. Uppu. Devaraj, nangal samaykum podu pala moola porul galai payan paduttu giroom. Inge irukkira inda moola porul galin payan enna ningal solla mudiyuma? Exactly Kalaivani. All ingredients that we use in traditional South Indian cuisine or mm. Indian cuisine in general have uh, potent nutritional aspects related to, uh -huh. them, to them. So um, here, uh, for example, in our puli odore, a major ingredient would be the karve pile, curry leaves or curry pule, as we know in Mauritius. Mm. Karve pile is said to have several uh, nutritional proprieties, uh, one of them being that it uh, conceals a great amount of vitamin C which we all know the benefits of it. So it's, uh, it's a good way to prevent uh, seasonal diseases such as the flu or the cold. So the Karimapile can help to prevent all these types of infection. And up and above the nutritional aspect, we also have the wonderful aroma that comes the from Karimapile. You're getting it right now, even the without cooking. Kedil. The next ingredient that uh, is also an important part of uh, Tamil cuisine or South Indian cuisine is manjal the tool. manjal tool or the turmeric powder. Several studies have showed that turmeric contains something known as the curcumin, a compound that helps in uh, killing several bacteria. It's an mm -hmm. antiseptic and studies apparently have shown that it could help to prevent certain types of cancerous cells from developing in one's body. Totally. So just imagine what uh, power that has. And it's present not only in our food, in our mm. rituals, in our lifestyle mm -hmm. in general. It's called the golden spice in Europe now. And uh, along with the turmeric, we have another key spice in South Indian cuisine. Milagu. Milagu, peppercorn. Interestingly, uh, this is an indigenous spice to India. Mm -hmm. So it was found uh, in its earliest form in the Kerala regions, which is now called as Kerala. Charu. So this, ha this has been present as the spice uh, element, the hot element in all our dishes mm -hmm. since early times. Interestingly, the compound called curcumin in the turmeric is absorbed more easily by our system when pepper is present together with it. So okay. that's what, look at the wisdom behind combining mm -hmm. spices in traditional South Indian cuisine. So if we are going to use turmeric along with uh, pepper, so the, the compound curcumin is going to be absorbed more uh, easily by our internal organs. Anbargale, yenne pola, ningalum, and the puleo dare yepadi tayarka, vendum yendru, avalaga, yirkurum, yendru, ninekirain, devarat. And the pulio dare yepadi tayarka vendum ipo solvirgala? Let's go, let's go. I'm impatient to put it on the heat. Charinga, fang. Devaraj, Neram Karikamal, yena panapo vomipo. So we are now going to start the recipe of the pulio dare. So we'll start by adding the sesame oil. Nalene. Nalene. A good amount. Charinga. When our oil is hot in our pan, we're going to add mustard seeds. And one interesting thing with mustard seed is that it needs to splutter, that it, 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 it needs to break mm -hmm. so that the flavors come out into the, to the oil oh no. and it will enrobe everything that we're going to add Charinga. afterwards. That's a very important and crucial aspect of South Indian talipu. Yeah. So now we're going to add the kadali parupu, followed by Arthe. the ulundu, ulundu. ulundu. some Milagai. Milagai. So I'm going to just break it with my hand. And the amount of chili depends on taste actually. It, yeah. Usually in Tamil Nadu it's really spicy. So, yes. We'll just saute it a bit, you know, like mix the spices. And we'll wait till the urad dal and the kadali parupu gets a bit brownish. brownish. Yeah, not not uh, burnt but brownish. Okay. And then we'll add the perungayam. perungayam. Next, we're going to add the karve pille. So, uh, this is an interesting part because now the flavors are going to come. You'll just hear it and mm -hmm. smell it as well. Taringa. Just hear that crackle. 
it's so typical of uh, traditional yeah. food, you know. And, and interestingly, in Tamil, this is known as Talipu. Talipu, or the seasoning pot. And one interesting Sangam literature pot talks about something known as Tirumana Parudal, mm. the act of bringing all spices, all flavors together. So, we'll add the turmeric powder. And then we'll add a bit of vendayam. vendayam. Not too much because mm. tamarind goes well with vendayam. vendayam yeah. It balances the tastes. When it's all well combined together, mm. all the spices, we're going to add the tamarind water. So this is tamarind that has left... Uh, <laughs> yes, so we've left tamarind in warm water for mm. around uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> till <laughs> yes, exactly. So now we're going to pour this into our seasoning. Mm, yes. yes. Exactly. And especially the color also, you see that? It's a golden type of golden brownish color. Mm -hmm. And so we'll need, right now it's quite watery. So we'll need to let it uh, simmer and boil till it reaches a thick to semi thick consistency. Then our puli kachal will be ready. Charinga. So just after around five minutes, we'll add some salt. Mm -hmm. and then we'll let it continue boiling. So now we're going for the second part of our recipe, which is making the puddy, the puddy which will go on the rice later mm -hmm. on. We're using a very traditional... Uh, In the patiram. Yeah, exactly. So it's used for seasoning usually, this pan. So we'll use some ulun de parupu, urad uh, dal. We'll let it roast till it becomes brown, golden brown, not burnt. When the ulunde is ready, we'll add some cumin. Jiragam. Jiragam. Add a little vendayam. Mm. Little bit, not too much. We'll let it heat a bit, like uh, roast a little. Mm. Can you get the aroma Amma. from the jiragam? Then we'll add some peppercorn. The aroma is really nice. And then we'll put two red like chilies, that. dried red chilies, but that is to taste because uh, it depends on the level of spiciness that mm -hmm. a person likes. And then we'll add finally the yellow. yellow, the black sesame seeds. And then we let everything roast together till the fla all the flavors come out. And now we should be really careful not to let the spices burn. We don't want to destroy the flavors. Yes, the key is not to let the spices burn. So we should be careful just to remove it in time so that uh, yes, exactly. the flavors are still intact and not burnt. So we'll proceed with the grinding of our spice mix. Just imagine Kalivani. This is the traditional way our forefathers, our ancestors, also from Tamil Nadu, have been grinding the spices for all this time. So it's wonderful reliving and bringing back this wonderful culture, this wonderful tradition, because ultimately it's what? It's based on a, on a science, and it's science mixed with art. So that's what we're doing right now. You see the, the friction with the stone helps to grind the spice, and can you smell the aroma? It's coming out already. So it means that the, our roasting was perfect, and we, ma we have managed to bring out the essence of each spice that we are using for this blend. Devaraj, nam irudi kattathukku nanga vandu vittom. Ippo enna seya pogirai? So now we have reached the third and last step of our recipe, uh, which consists of mixing all our ingredients together. We have the pudi, the spice mix. Pudi. We have the roasted uh, peanuts. Varutta ver kadalai. Varutta ver kadalai. And we have our pulikachal. 
the tamarind and spice mix that has been left boiled and reduced to a thick or semi-thick consistency. To start with, we'll pour the paste little by little on the rice. Chale. Usually this is done in... Tamil Nadu Koyil. Ama, Tamil Nadu, in Tamil Nadu, in temples, they would put that on a huge piece of cloth, Ama. spread the rice and with their hands mix little by little. So we're just going to use a spoon here and mix it with the rice. But gently, not too abruptly because we don't want to break the rice yeah. grains at the same time. We should do it... Konja uh, konja ama. We shouldn't put all the pulikachil in the rice and mix. That's going to be a disaster. We could also taste, but as you know in our traditional cuisine, we don't taste, taste. before either offering to God mm -hmm. or to, to a guest. And uh, we should be a little bit patient here because to get all the rice coated with this mix requires some time. Does it look familiar? Ama, ana Mauritius pulio dare, matro Tamil Nadu pulio dare, veve raga irkadu. Exactly, it's you've rightly pointed it out. Actually, the pulio dare that we have in Mauritius, that's traditionally cooked uh, since uh, some time here, is not really the of the same color first. The, the color Ama. is different, and the taste might also differ. So the difference in the two st styles of Pulyodari could be because, you know, we've been out of uh, touch with India for quite some time, our uh, forefathers. They were laborers, mostly Mauritius, and they mm. couldn't go back. So in the process and mixing with other cultures in Mauritius, the, the process of Mauritianization in itself has resulted in certain modifications in our traditional foods. Uh -huh. Both are good, mm -hmm. they're different, but it's also good to know the traditional Tradition. way so we can have more variety and more pep in our traditional cuisine. Um, yeah. So now we're going to finish with the mixing. We'll add the podi, podi. the spice mix. Podi serka vendum. I'm going to, be, to make it a bit spicy because I like it this way. I hope you too. Um, yeah. So, so we'll add the spice mix, mix well. And then we'll just add the roasted peanut to finish it off. Kadesiaga varutta ver kadalei serka vindum. Yes. The peanut gives a good texture oh. uh, with the soft rice, the spiciness of Charing. the pulyodare. It adds some crunch while eating. So, in a way, we could call the pulyodare a uh, power food. You know, the, the term is quite popular now power foods, like foods packed with all nutrients in one go. The pulyodare is a bit of this family. So, it's a power packed, nutritionally packed food with awesome taste. Um and traditional at the same time. So here we are, our pulyodere is ready. As you see, it's, uh, it's a beautiful dish. So usually it's served in India with very little uh, side dishes. It's usually appalam or some banana chips, etc. But in Mauritius, we are used to having uh, some condiments okay. while eating rice. So the best thing that would go with the pulyodere is brinjal. Katarikai. Katarikai. Cook the traditional way we were used to in Mauritius with onions, etc. And then we have another uh, traditional aspect of Tamil cuisine. It's called the mor. Mor, mor is beaten curd or buttermilk, uh, spiced with our, again, mustard seeds, curry leaves, etc. And to add some crunch, we have appalam. appalam. Yeah. So that's it. Ama. Devaraj, puli odarai parkum purdu, rumbo rumbo rusiaga yirkiradu. Ningalum ungal vittil in the pulio dare, Ningal samet sapida mudium, Aditha padiaga, Devaraj Ningalaku, Sakare pungal yepadi tayar kavendum yendra katuvar. So, to make the sakare pungal, the basic ingredients are, of course, the rice and the mungdal, which I have soaked uh, and then pressure cooked uh, together with the dal. Yetane mani neram, Sanjinga. Uh, we need to let the rice and dal soak maybe around 15 minutes. Padinainde yes. manituli. Exactly. And then after that, we pressure cook it. It's easier now to cook in a pressure cooker. So we just put the rice and the dal together. And then water just enough to cover the mixture of rice and dal. We can also add a little bit of nei ghee, which is uh, a fat that will prevent the rice from sticking to the uh, pressure cooker. Another major ingredient that we're, go we're going to use is the Jagri, or what is known in Tamil as Achu Vellam. Vellam is a very important component of Tamil cuisine. Ama, yepadi. Because it has naturally existed in the Dikan, uh, in the South Indian plains in India since mm -hmm. ages. 
Usually the, 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 the original vellum is made from palm sugar. So sugar from palm trees. It's called the karupatti in Tamil. Appadiya. Yes, but the ones we, we get now on the market, mo most uh, available, is made from sugar cane. It's not very uh, far from what we had in Mauritius called mulas, uh, molasses, but this one is prepared in a different manner. Nutritionally, this is far, far, far better than white sugar because in calorie, uh, cal calorie count, sorry, it's extremely less as compared to white sugar or even brown sugar. So um. it's, it's very healthy and very nutritional at the same time. Then we'll use uh, cashew nuts, Mundari Mundari par parupu, parupu. dried raisins, both already fried in uh, ghee, in nei. We have cardamom powder, elaichi e pudi, elakai, elakai pudi. We have split badam, and we have pieces of coconut fried in ghee to release the aromas. Devaraj, Sarkare Pungal Sevadarku, Nangalina and Pine Padtuvom, Arisi, Pasi Parupu in the Randume, Nangal Vega Vachi Samaitom, Ipadi Agivitadu, Varutta Tengai, Badam Parupu, Yelakai Pudi, Nei, Achuvillam, Matrum Varutta Tirache, Mundiri Parupu. So I take the Vellum and the water. I'll start by adding the vellum, vellum to my pan. The point is to make a sort of uh, syrup which is a little bit caramelized just to enhance the flavor of the vellum. vellum. And just afterwards, I'll add a little bit of water. Not Co too much, just enough to cover the vellum. The vellum should uh, melt completely. Um. And when it's melted, we'll let it not boil, but uh, just with bubbles, you know, like a little bit of... In the pathiratil nangal achuvellam sertom, adarku piragu konja tannir sertom. So it's good to point out also that uh, there are several ways of doing the sakari punga. This one is, is the easiest version. So uh, I think for everyone, it will be easier to start with. So Ama, usually the rice is cooked separately and the vellum is added afterwards. But this, in, in this uh, process, we, are, we have reversed the step. Yeah. So now is the perfect time to add the rice. So we're going to add the whole rice and then mix it together. Like this. So usually the rice for the sakari punga should be very mushy. So, so we should cook it uh, in the pressure cooker for around four to five whistles. Jaringa. And then uh, we should avoid letting lumps while mixing with the oh. jaggery. So we let that mix well and cook together at the same time. If we had used the karupatti, the palm sugar, the palm jaggery, it would have been a lot more darker, a bit like the Indian. Uh, Tamil Nadu. Now you see the consistency, it's nearly ready, we'll add the other ingredients. So we'll drop in the cashew nuts, the raisin, we just mix it well, the almond and the small coconut pieces fried in ghee, in uh, nei. And then we'll put a spoonful of nei, just to add the taste. People usually tend to think of nei as being uh, n not healthy, but it's the other way. <laughs> and uh, just mix it well. And we'll finish off with some cardamom powder. A good amount of it because that's what gives the flavor. So I see you're quite good at cooking too. <laughs> yeah. So it's done. It's ready. We'll just go for the serving. Yeah. Very good. So here we are. Our two uh, recipes are here. Two mm -hmm. dishes. We have the pulio de rey and the sakari pungal. It has been a real pleasure, a real honor sharing these two recipes with you. Two traditional recipes that I hope you will you have absorbed and you will be able to replicate and pep up your cuisine, your kitchen at home. Devaraj, ungal samayal kuri pugal kumikkanandri. Nangal sitire madathil 
காவடி திருவிழா கொண்டாடுகிறோம் அதனையொட்டி நீங்கள் உங்கள் வீட்டிலும் கோயில்களிலும் புளியோதரையும் சர்க்கரை பொங்கலையும் தயாரித்து கொண்டு போக முடியும் தேவராஜ் சித்திரை மாதத்தில் என்ன சிறப்பான நிகழ்ச்சி இருக்கிறது புத்தாண்டு ஆமா இதனையொட்டி உங்களுக்கு உங்கள் குடும்பத்துக்கு புத்தாண்டு நல்வாழ்த்துக்கள் மிக்க நன்றி மிக்க நன்றி தேவராஜ் அடுத்த மாதம் இதே நேரத்தில் இதே அலைவரிசையில் எங்களுடைய நிகழ்ச்சி மட்ராஸ் சமையல் உங்களை சந்திப்போம்